January 6, 1940. Upon returning from Bear Island, I felt it was necessary to send my crew away for the holidays to spend with their families. The sheer look of joy on their faces when told that they would be spending Christmas at home was one that I would never forget. During this time, two of my officers volunteered to stay back and aid in new technology that the Kriegsmarine were working on for U-boats. We recently have been provided with a decoy sonar pods that will allow us to slip away while allies chase after a false signal. This will no doubt aid us as word has been received that the allies are working on technology that would allow them to locate U-boats and drop depth charges on them with deadly precision. Now that my crew are back and well rested, we head out towards the southwestern tip of England where we will conduct operations to knock out allied shipping. We still await our orders to be relocated to the south in the Mediterranean, but until those orders are confirmed, we will continue to knock out vital supply ships coming in from the west. Intel has recently informed us that there has been an increase in aerial patrols in the sector we are heading to. We will be ever watchful when traveling above water as a single well-aimed depth charge dropped from an allied plane could spell disaster for my crew and I. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat and may I just say that it is good to be back. I am uh, sorry that I couldn't get a video out to you guys last week. Um, as a, you know, though, I was going to be out for the week for work, so finally back, happy to be back, ready to start making some videos, and, uh, you know, what better than to get an episode of U-Boat out, because this has just been too damned enjoyable, let me tell you. The whole fact that we have started from 1939, and we're basically going all the way until 1945, we're keeping it historic, I don't know that there's actually an end game to U-Boat. I've never actually seen it. I, I And I know that it doesn't just end in 1945. You can just keep going. So I don't know if there's an end game to it or the victory conditions. If anybody else out there has actually gotten to the end of U-Boat, comment down below. Let us know what we have to actually do to get that. But it has been uh, incredibly fun just getting this going and kind of following the timeline of history and seeing how it goes. So we got uh, an upgrade for the U-boat. We got the uh, decoy sonar pods, which are uh, drastically going to help us, especially now that we're heading to the uh, south of England into our patrol sector over here. Um, as we've seen in the past, that these have been terribly congested with destroyers just kind of going back and forth between France and England, kind of patrolling the channel here. So... Should we come across any of that that poses a major threat? Hello, Mr. London. I, I do remember I said I wanted to try and get in here, but that'll be for another episode. But going through here, if we're uh, encountered by any destroyers, we'll be able to at least slip away. Preferably, we're going to try and hide, obviously, and not get caught, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if that we're going to come across any allied shipping for supplies through here. It's usually pretty rare. It's a lot of just destroyers, but this is the quickest route. Rather than going all the way up North England, over Scotland, down and coming through Ireland or around Ireland into our patrol sector, it's better just to go through the English Channel and uh, we'll see. Uh, I also have some aerial reconnaissance happening down here in the Port of Gibraltar. So we'll wait for that information to get back to us. Probably it'll, it'll probably be when we actually get back to the Port of Wilhelmshaven after successfully completing this mission. And then we'll see. But... Really, uh, really wanting to get down here and start these orders. On a side note, though, I've noticed that you can't really just get missions to go to the port of La Spezia or another port down here. Where's our other ports down here? Oh, it's only La Spezia. I would like to find out how you actually get to the, La the La Spezia port down here because I can't imagine you just sail down here and then this becomes your new dock. I feel like you need a mission, actually, uh officially dock at La Spezia and start taking missions, but if anyone has any idea, let me know. I've been looking online, haven't really found anything, but anyways, let's get back to what we were doing here. We are heading to the English Channel, and uh, once we get to here, I, the plan of action once we get here, I think we're going to, even though we have this whole area, I'm going to focus again in BF-21 and BF-13 as this is pretty much the mouth where supply ships are going to start funneling in to go drop off their supplies usually at the port of liverpool major port of england and probably the belfast harbor area as well but i think we're going to have the most luck 
right around here for supply ships. But let's get in there. And as I travel through the English Channel, if we come across any opposition, then I will let you guys know immediately. All right, we got through the English Channel just fine with uh, zero opposition. Actually, quite shocking. I imagine it was because we have come through it at the hours of dark, which are drastically going to help us, but we are officially in our square. Travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. Let's go ahead and get it off to BDU that we are actually here. Get our 2,500 kilometers out of the way, and then we'll start doing some hydrophoning once we're in A or BF-21. Probably right around here. Important message received. Hello. Ooh, fine Empire Buckler ship. A very valuable radar prototype is being transported on the Empire Buckler cargo ship headed for Cardiff Docks, where it will be fitted onto a dedicated warship for testing. Taking this ship will noticeably slow enemy progress in developing this technology. We estimate that it's currently passing through the square of BF-235 with a course of 198 degrees. The ship is moving in a convoy traveling at a speed of 7 knots. This is going to be that technology that we were recently told about by Intel. Is it coming our way? Oh my goodness, yes it is. And we are set up beautifully for this. All right, so we are going to approach this PW convoy and start setting up for an attack. There was a viewer who uh, commented on a video uh, regarding how to actually approach the convoy without running out of oxygen or battery and staying up long enough. and. The simplest answer I can give you is there's nothing too crazy that I do. Obviously, we know where they're roughly at. Now, we can drop down to periscope depth, which I'll do while we're waiting, and we can get a, a hydrophone up. Drop down to periscope depth, we'll change our radio men to hydrophone, take one off navigation, and give it to our hydrophone. And then we'll be able to actually pinpoint where these are going. We want to make sure we're going relatively slow, it'll make for more accurate hydrophone uh, locations and then once we know where they're going we're going to resurface the ship because there's no need to stay underwater if we're not under danger so we'll resurface the ship and get close and then once we get close enough i'll kind of explain what i do from there but it's not too difficult i can understand if it, it's uh frustrating when you're underwater and then your battery is running out makes perfect sense all right so we got a tiny group that's more than likely going to be a patrol ship but we gotta watch out for patrol ships, as they can be a big pain in the butt. Come on, go right by us, go right by us, there we go. Get that patrol ship out of the way. So we are gonna resurface here, it's uh, 1336, so it's dead of daylight. We're not gonna surface right now, we'll get a little further, and we'll try and get closer to this PW convoy that's following the coastline here. I will be right back as soon as we're a little closer. All right, so. Second part of the explanation as to what I do. So now that we know exactly where they're going, I'm going to surface my boat. There's no reason to continue submerged because they don't know where I am, but we know where they are because of the hydrophone. So now I'm going to go dead north. And basically, this is the clear sight that we have. I'm going to wait until we can finally get notified that we are so close. And usually the ships are just outside our sight range and then I submerge and start with the battery power because now we have ample time to be under there. Now we've been notified that our new objective sink the Empire Buckler, which means we are close, so now there's no reason for me to remain above water. Now I will submerge to periscope depth, utilizing my battery and oxygen, and now I have a lot more time versus if I tried to get up here using only battery and trying to preserve my oxygen from way down here, we'd probably have used half of our battery power and would have had to have submerged or uh, not submerged, surfaced already just to replenish our oxygen. So my advice to anybody that wants to know that is wait until the last minute. There's no rush. Just take it slow. And at the last minute, then you submerge and then come into the uh, side of the enemy. And here we go, 1837, what's it looking like right now? Oh, it is pitch black, isn't it? Oh boy, gotta love these uh, winter nights. It is dark, my goodness. All right, let's try and locate something you can barely see out here. And here's the Empire Buckler. 
This is actually perfect. Oh, they have. They have an escort, ladies and gentlemen. They have an escort. Okay, that changes things. This guy is going to slip by. We don't need to worry about him. That changes everything, knowing that they have a, an escort. Get rid of all this data. We don't need it. We're focused on the Empire Tower. Buckler, excuse me. We'll let this one slip by, and we're going to get a little closer. Go ahead and forward two, please. With this, though, we can get a much more accurate course. Let's go ahead and set one right there. Let time compress a little bit. Get another one. Boom. Stop our boat. Intersect the two lines. There's a rough course for us right there. All right, we are only 200 meters from there. We need to reverse a little bit. We need to be at least half a kilometer away if we want to activate the torps and they don't dud out on us. All right, let's go ahead and stop. That's about half a kilometer. And let's unlock from our first target, please, and find the buckler gonna be the same one though that's good the Empire Tower perfect a velocity of 7 force of 91 versus 92 still the same 30 knot speed 2.5 meter a depth and we are going to uh, see some action here let's go ahead and load Outside. actually two just to be safe and we'll have a dispersion of Five meters. Perfect. We want to make sure this technology goes down. All right, beautiful. One last check for our course. 90.6, set, and fire. Dos. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. 40 seconds. Torpedo beautiful. Due to the fact that we are so close, we'll get rid of all this nonsense right now, and we are going to start up the ship, and we need to dive down 30 meters, please. We need to start getting out of here. And those are good hits right there. Let's get one more. And center punched. That is mission accomplished right there. That is going to go down. Serious damage. That technology is not getting to the allies. We will make sure of that. Come on, go down. Taking on quite a bit of water, starting to list, which is perfect. Mission completed, sink the ship. There it is, official. That feels good. Stop that vital piece of technology. Come, You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go straight. Increase speed to three. He's going to come to where we last shot the torpedoes. Oh, and we are being pinged. That is not good. We are being pinged, ladies and gentlemen. We need to go forward one. Slow the engines. Get ready. Alright, it already knows where we are. we got to wait for it to go right overhead. And then we are doing a hard right now. Increase speed. Step charges away. Stop completely. Let him surface around. That's fine. Let him think that he got us now that we have our uh, propellers completely stopped. And there he goes off to the north. Perfect. Keep going, keep going. Hell yes. Great friggin' work by this crew. Alright, we have traveled to the area of BF-13. Haven't come across any aerial targets, nor destroyers. However, we do have a propeller noise. Currently 1400 hours on January 11th. And this propeller noise is actually coming right at us. So we are going to prepare for this. And see what we can get ourselves into. Go ahead and get our captain on the attack periscope, please. Let's get ready for this. Let's see what it's looking like outside. It is a beautiful clear day out here near the English Channel. Can't wait. And here we go. 
we have our next target ready to rock and roll. Currently 1657 hours. Let's go ahead and locate, shall we please? Beautiful. Go ahead and lock on this target and find out it is a tanker class, which is even better. Tonnage value on this is going to be pretty high, and that'll be the one right there. Smokestack to the rear. Displacement, 10,800 tons. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. British ship confirmed. Let's go ahead and start getting ready for this, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, fire. Los! Torpedoes away. Torpedoes are away. And the angle is looking beautiful. Got this beautiful view. Little sunset action going on here. And what more could you ask for right there? Massive hit. Two hits. And there are the fireworks. Serious damage. Massive ball of flame. This is, uh, it's going down. Especially as low as we hit it, it's not going to be able to withstand all that water that's definitely pouring into the ship look at it's already underwater there are the lifeboats and there it is objective completed sink enemy trade ships with a total gross register tonnage of 10,000 tons it is done however it looks like it's uh still staying afloat oh my gosh the amount of craft that are coming out just pouring out of this all right, January 12th, 1300 hours. We have tipped over just about halfway of the 2500 kilometers that we have to travel. Go ahead and lower speed to forward one, please. Drop down periscope depth. Get our hydrophonist up again. Shall we please? Listening room, and we'll give him someone to increase that distance. We can give him two, that's even better. No, just one, that's fine. And it looks like we have yet another ship heading our way. This is a good group. This is a good spot. And here we are, heading right in our path. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Choppy seas, which could be a bit of a pain. There we go. British Empire. All right. Completely unarmed and unescorted. I think we're going to take this one personally by way of deck gun. We are going to surface the ship, please. Let's start getting our guys manning the deck gun. There we go, sir. Using deck gun. Perfect. Give you two sailors to work with here. Get ready for the attack, gentlemen. Go ahead and do a little bit of time compression. Come on, we're right alongside this thing. Let's get it lit on fire here. H-E. H-E, come on. There we go. That's what we like to see. AP, please. Let's start... Getting those rounds, hitting that bow. There we go. Look at that. That's a perfect shot. Right under the waterline, especially with these choppy seas. Switch back over to HE. Get this thing lit on fire. We've already put enough AP into it. And there's the fire. That should pretty much spell the end for this. Let's go ahead and turn in a little bit ever so slightly. A little time compression. It is not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. And now we wait the inevitable. It is listing heavily. Looks like the front is practically almost underwater here. Not going to be much longer before this goes under. And we'll be right here to bring on the captain and the uh, any crewmen, any officers that uh, leave here soon. And there we go. There's the uh, life rafts. Let's go ahead and halt the ship. Please go ahead and get a radio officer going. Get ready for this because it is going under. Just a couple more rounds here. We'll uh, definitely do the job. And there it goes. Confirmed. Thinking. Beautiful. Go ahead and get these sailors out of here. Get you back on navigation, sir. There goes the ship. 
get those messages off to BDU and look for the captain. There they are, Mr. Jones and Mr. Nelson. Come on aboard. And there are messages off to the BDU. Beautiful. We are killing it right now over here. Absolutely killing it. Forward three, please. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and finish our uh, patrolling. We'll go down to BF-19 and see if there's anything down here. Any major convoys maybe trying to go to the uh, northwestern tip of France here. But so far, I'm happy with how this is turning out. Well, I gotta say, as we look onto this uh, beautiful sunset in the Atlantic Ocean, that we have done some serious work with the Allied shipping so far. So much so that I feel like they're probably gonna have to completely alter their course as they fear the amount of U-boats that are in the area. When little do they know, it's just one. Just us, kicking some serious ass, which is awesome. So. We still have a little bit more to travel in our journey. I think we're about three quarters of the way with our 2,500 kilometers that are required. But I feel like this is a pretty good place to stop right now. We're going to continue it on, though. We're not going back to dock yet. We still have plenty of fish in the tubes ready to rock and roll and uh, plenty of targets that are heading our way. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And for anyone else out there who is new to the channel, if you guys like this episode, if you guys like what you're seeing, we're going to be doing a lot more episodes on this as it is only 1940 and we still have until 1945. So please consider subscribing if you want to see the full series and a new series coming out very soon. In the meantime, I'm going to get back at it, start making the next video. I can't thank you all enough for the constant support as always. Until next time, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?